Hello and welcome to Road TC. A change of wheels can make a big difference in the feel of your rides when you're on the bike. So it's no surprise that they're one of the most common upgrades people do after buying a new bike. Even some quite expensive bikes come with relatively cheap wheels. This is because the manufacturers feel that you're going to buy something lighter and more aerodynamic when you go racing. With that said, here are six of the best lightweight wheels on the market. Shimano's Dura A C24 carbon laminated wheels are light, stiff and responsive, putting in an excellent all-round performance. The C24s have the shallowest rim heights of any wheels in the Dura Ace range. The front is 21mm and the rear is 24 The rims are aluminium alloy with a carbon fibre reinforced polymer laminate on the hub facing surfaces. The aluminium wall thickness is just 0.7mm and Shimano uses what it calls patented phosphoric acid anodizing process to bond the carbon fibre rim to the alloy. The idea of this being to provide a combination of strength, rigidity and low weight. The hub shells are aluminium too with a titanium free hub body. The wheels spin on cup and cone bearings and the labyrinth double contact seals manage to keep the stainless ball bearings free of water and gunk during our wet and mucky review period. Shimano doesn't actually make any aerodynamic claims for the C24s. If you're looking to reduce drag, you need to step up to the C40s or the C60s. What you do get here is lightness, responsiveness and loads of stability. The C24s we had here at Road TC came in at 601 grams to the front, 820 grams to the rear, and a total of 1,421 grams, although that was without rim tape or skewers. If you're looking for one of the lightest and stiffest wheel sets for a disc brake equipped road bike, there are few better options than Lightweight's new Mielenstein C disc wheels. The hubs, spokes and rims are made entirely of carbon fibre and the wheels are incredibly responsive, although they come with a premium price tag of roughly £5,000. At 1,370 grams, this is close to being the lightest disc brake wheel set we've ever had in at Road TC, but it's in the stiffness department that these wheels really blow away the competition. They endow any bike with a starting level of handling sharpness with instant feedback and excellent power transfer. Performance, whether it's climbing steep gradients out of the saddle, carving high speed turns, sprinting over crests or descending through flowing curves, it's truly stunning. The high stiffness gives the bike incredible immediacy, precision and nimbleness that few others can rival. The clincher rim is 47 mil deep with a 20 mil external and 17.8 mil internal width. It's fair to say that V-shaped rim profile, while clearly offering some advantages, has been superseded by the current trend for wide, rounded rim profiles, pioneered by HED and adopted by Zip, MV and others. The V-shape offers good aero performance when the wind is coming from straight ahead, but in a wider range of wind conditions and crosswinds, other rims are more stable. It's this performance in a wide range of conditions that is the Achilles heel of the lightweight wheels. They simply aren't as easily controllable in strong wind and on high speed descents in blustery conditions as rival wheels using more modern rim profiles. The wheels really gain back loss ground on the climbs though, where a low weight, high stiffness and incredible power transfer makes them an absolute joy. The PR1400 die cut OXIC is a high performance road wheel set that features a ceramic coated surface that provides reassuring braking performance in a range of conditions, which is ideal for the year round cycling here in the UK. Braking performance using the supplied brake blocks is very good in dry conditions, but it's in poor conditions where the rims really start to make a case for themselves. Braking performance is powerful, predictable and consistent. The other big benefit of ceramic coating is a rim that is durable, better able to withstand the abuse a bike is subjected to when riding in grim weather. The rims are tubeless ready and DT supplies the sealant and valves that you need in order to ditch the inner tubes. Regular clincher tyres with inner tubes also work fine with the rims. The die cut hubs feature very wide flanges intended to increase wheel stiffness and DT Swiss 240 internals that are well proven and popular. 
The 36 teeth ratchet system in the rear hub provides swift engagement when you stamp on the pedals, while the RWS ratchet wheel mounting system quick releases secure the wheels onto your bike easily. These wheels are stiff and responsive in use, with no give or flex when putting the power down in a sprint or on a steep climb. The low weight, ours came in at 1500 grams, put many carbon wheels to shame. They do come with a caveat, however. There's a recommended rider max weight of 110 kilograms to be aware of. The Fast Forward F3R full carbon clincher wheel set is a lightweight option that provides excellent acceleration and high level stiffness. Although the lack of aero credentials might put some off who aren't pure climbers. The carbon rims are 30mm deep and 22.4mm wide with a quite rounded profile and a blunt inner edge, far more U-shaped than V-shaped. The F3R FCCs are certainly light. Ours hit the Road TC scales of truth at 804 grams for the front, 626 for the rear without the quick releases. That's a total of 1,430 grams. The wheels accelerate beautifully. Of course, a lightweight is easily achieved if you don't mind taking a hit on stiffness, but these are stiff too, which is particularly noticeable when you bank hard into a corner or get out of the saddle on a steep climb. The F3R FCC wheels have a braking surface, which Fast Forward calls CBT3H mixing three different composites and a copper layer with a high TG resin enables fast heat reduction and high braking efficiency, according to Fast Forward. Due to the rims being relatively shallow, there isn't much carbon for the heat produced during braking to disperse into, as there is with deeper rims. The copper lining is included to disperse the heat in the rim faster and across a larger surface area. In dry conditions, braking is very good with Swiss stock Flash Pro pads provided. The pads bite well and the power is consistent, although as usual with carbon, the performance lags a little behind that of aluminium rims. The 45mm deep, fast forward, F4R, full carbon clincher would be quicker in the majority of circumstances, but if lightweight is a higher priority to you than aerodynamic efficiency, the F3R FCC wheel set is a great choice. Fulcrum's flagship Racing Zero wheel set are lightweight, hours coming in at 1,348 grams, and they put on an excellent performance, especially in the hills. The rims are 30mm high and are made from a unidirectional carbon fibre with a 3K finish for the brake track. The rims measure 17mm internally, 24.5mm externally, which provides a good platform for wider tyres. 25mm tyres go very well in these rims. The brake track gets the same three diamond treatment first seen on Campagnolo wheels. The name comes from the process that involves using a diamond tip tool to shave away resin and produce a uniform surface so the special compound brake pads are pushed directly against the carbon. The braking performance is powerful, consistent and predictable in dry conditions, especially after a few weeks when the pads and rims bed in. Despite the specially produced brake track, braking is far less impressive when wet. What these wheels are though, are right at home on rolling terrain with lots of hills, short and long and ever-changing gradients. The low weight provides a helping hand on the climbs and the high level of stiffness delivers precise handling when weaving through the turns. The only place these wheels really come unstuck is in the rain. Not such a huge problem on the flat, but if you've got T-junctions at the bottom of a very steep and long hill to contend with, it takes the shine off an otherwise impressive performance. That aside, these are a decent choice for all-round riding. Mavic's new Cosmic Pro Carbon SLC wheels accelerate fast, hold their speed well, and offer excellent braking in both dry and wet conditions. The rims are all carbon. Previously, Mavic has used aluminium rim beds in its carbon clinches to dissipate heat, but the French brand believes that it has now developed a manufacturing process that allows it to dispense with the metal. A laser process removes the resin from the surface of the brake track while leaving the carbon fibre intact. The idea being to ensure the best braking performance, and it works, the braking on offer here is powerful. It's up there with the best carbon fibre braking in dry conditions and it's a class apart from any other carbon wheels we've used in the wet. Mavic really has set a new standard with these wheels. 
The rims are wide, 25 mil externally, 17 mil internally. The idea being to integrate well with wider tires that most people are using now. And the wheels are lightweight. We measured them at 601 grams to the front and 808 grams to the rear for a total of 1,409 grams. That is without skewers or tires. They accelerate snappily, especially for their depth, spinning up to speed fast when you want to get out of a corner quickly or jump away from other riders. They hold their speed well too and aren't badly affected by crosswinds. So there you have it, six lightweight wheel sets that will add extra snap to your bike's performance. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up so YouTube likes us and promotes us to other cycling fans out there. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And make sure you stay tuned to Road TC for the best roundups of bikes, components and accessories. And we'll see you next time.